from the city of Newton will be helping you get rid of your tree limbs after those storms from Sunday night. Yeah, and they are actively doing it right now. 12 News reporter Max Dutton joining us live from Newton with what you need to know. Max, what's the latest? Yeah, in Britain, we've seen dozens of crews out already this morning. They're uh, having a lot to pick up, as you can see behind me right there. This is uh, the first crew we've actually seen that uses the tractor style. Most of them have these kind of cranes that they'll use, and they'll load them up into these trucks. You see right here as another truck is getting ready to pass us. But basically what this does is they put it out in their front yard. They make a neat pile, and it's very easy for these crews to come by and actually pick it up themselves. Now, they will not pick up trash, lumber, any other debris. Make sure your limbs are all set out in that neat pile, as I mentioned. The workers are now starting on the southeast corner of town. They'll make their way up and down each street one at a time today, making sure they get all of this cleaned up today. Now, the National Weather Service actually says Sunday night's damage in Newton was not from a tornado, but actually from straight line winds. The Harvey County Appraiser's Office will spend the next few days assessing the damage. Then they'll submit that information to the Kansas Emergency Management to find if it meets the criteria for aid. We've spoken with a lot of people out and about today watching their limbs being taken off from their yard. They say getting them out there in the first place was quite the process. Take a listen. It'll be good to get it all cleaned up, even though it's the last day of kids' school. But it'll be glad. I, you know, it took a while to get it all cleaned up. But I think we got hit over here pretty good. Oh, it's amazing, because we could barely get out of our driveway. I know the tree across the street was blocking that lady in, and just the community outreach support has been really good. Now, for those of you that have any other assistance you need or any supplies following that storm, damage to your homes even, the county has asked that you reach out to the Red Cross. We have their number linked on our website and on our 12 News app. Guys.